uh, uncivilized vitality. Um, I was out in the backyard with the boys this morning. We're talking about sitting on the wet ground instead of building a stool or taking your ground buddy uh, or just squatting. Sometimes you want to make uh, a decadent sort of leisure like an Adirondack or a, a hanging chair. You can do that with a little bit of paracord um, or about a 10 foot section of heavy rope, a one foot piece of stick. Uh, sometimes I use the handle on my shovel. Then you need a four foot stave and a couple six to eight foot pieces. And then you're going to use your uncivilized hood, right? So this is our that square piece of cloth sewn into a hoop that we use. Uh, this one's cotton. You can use this for a towel, a pillow, emergency clothing, or you can make a chair out of it. So let me show you how that goes. It's pretty straightforward. So come this way and I'll show you the, the process. We're gonna get that four footer out of the way. Now I'd encourage you not to cut down living trees. I know the bushcraft people love to go out and saw down trees and make uh, log cabins and all these fancy things. But I, I just happened to have some leftover poles from one of our teepees that had um, gotten past their usefulness or cracked. So I had these sitting around. Otherwise you could use some straight dead limbs as long as they're strong enough to support your weight. So first thing I wanna kinda do is I'm gonna take the end of my heavy line and I'm gonna throw just a clove hitch on one of these poles, right? about a foot from the end. Then I'm gonna lean that against the tree and cross the other one on top of that. And then with my heavy rope, I'm just gonna run sort of a figure eight lashing underneath that clove hitch. You could do this with paracord too, but after I figured eight a couple times, I will wrap around the top once and then throw a couple of fraps around this. The idea is just to make a, just a general lashing and then leave yourself about four foot of your heavy rope. Right? Then the other end, about a foot down or so, you're gonna make a simple cow hitch or lark's head and slide that one foot piece through there. Now if you've made that cow hitch or lark's head, you can secure that with an overhand knot just so it doesn't come undone. So now you've got this. This is going to sit behind this the crotch here and suspend your hood. That's it, that's all there is to it. Now I'm gonna pass this rope through one bit of my hood. So the hood's hanging from that loop of uh, rope. Now I can adjust this later if I want it to be a little higher. You take the four foot part, you run that through the bottom of your hood and lay it across uh, the sticks, that's going to have to be a little higher, actually. So with the simple cow hitch, if I find I've cut that too low, or hung that too low, I can just tighten that right up real quick. We can get that laid back there so that's caught. Now the hood's up a little higher. Run your four foot stave through the bottom of your hood so that it catches on these uprights. Now you could get fancy and cut some, cut some notches for this to rest in, or you can come in and maybe take another piece of paracord in your pocket and lash those in place. But if you're just looking for a quick rest, it's not really that necessary. Spread the bottom of your hood out so it's hanging like this. Brace yourself on the uprights. Sit your butt right down in there and just relax. So this is a simple Adirondack chair. Uh, make this out of the two six to eight foot staves leaning against the tree. Um, sometimes you can find deadfall in the proper position. And then you just have a, a four foot, it's gotta be pretty sturdy. You wouldn't wanna use your trekking pole or anything. And then it just, um, that little piece that I threw behind the crotch of this upright, I can make a tripod if I fa can't find a tree to lean against. When I'm done, I could pull my walking stick back out all right, now I'm ready to go, got my walking stick, and maybe I just use the handle of my shovel that I carry with me, so then I've got my shovel. Pull that out, there's my hood. I can use that for whatever I need again, and then I can just unlash. I just did a quick figure eight lash around the bottom with a couple of fraps, and I could slide that pole out. Take my clove hitch off. Now I've regained my um, my buddy rope or the end of my line, coil it up and then off I go. 
So that's a quick Adirondack chair. Another way to use your uh, uncivilized hood or a multi-purpose, multi-use piece of clothing we take with us, piece of cloth. Cloth tool is very functional and a little bit of rope. So if you like that video, hit the uh, like button and Logan's got a list for me. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, share the video, and then make some comments, um, hopefully constructive comments, like that's the greatest thing you've ever seen, so that we can uh, feed that YouTube algorithm. So um, take care.